Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today I'm going to show you how you can use Mixamo to create animations or to use animations in your project with zero skill required again. This is another completely idiot proof tutorial and trust me, I could do this one, you could do this one. So if you want to add animations to your game or your character, uh, Mixamo is a good way to do it, but there are some limitations. Now first off, a bit about Mixamo. Uh, it was acquired by Adobe back in 2015 and truth of the matter is they haven't really done much with it since, but it's free and it's been free for seven Seven years now. We've sort of been waiting for it to be added to a Creative Cloud or something, but nothing's happened. It's just this free resource available from Adobe. So if you do want to check it out, it's available uh, at Mixamo.com. Uh, and what you do basically is you either uh, upload your own character and have them rig it, uh, or you upload a rigged character that is compatible, or you use one of their predefined characters. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this one right here. So you see you got a number of them available. Now this may actually be familiar to you. If you followed this channel in the past, we covered Mixamo Combiner uh, uh, earlier on, uh, but it kind of got hijacked. So we'll get back to that in a little bit. So if this seems a little familiar to you, well, we have covered this tool two or three years ago on this channel. All right, so now that we've got our base character, now what we need to do is apply some animations to it. Now, this is an area where Mixmo got worse. It used to be you could apply multiple animations to a character and then download it. Now the problem is we can apply a animation uh, and then we have to download them separately. So that's where the combiner is going to come in. So first I'm going to come in here. And we're just going to do a simple walk animation. Yeah, we'll do the, the sashaying walk animation right here. So there we go. And we're going to do that in place. If you're using it in a game engine, you're probably going to want to do it in place because you're going to do the movement using your own game logic. Uh, so just basically, once you've got that set to go, you got control over some of the things so we can control how far the arms swing, etc. Uh, we could have less frames, more frames, whatever. But we, once we're happy with it, we're going to download it. Um, in this case, pick it whatever format you want. Generally, FBX is probably your best choice. And just go ahead and download that one. By the way, you are going to need an Adobe.com account to log into Mixmo. Just one of those things to be aware of. All right, so there it is. It just came down. So now what we want to do is actually uh, add a different animation. So we're going to do now, um, uh, let's do punch. Uh, all right, there we go. So we're going to do a punch animation. We'll download that guy. Uh, we don't actually, so this one, we don't actually need to skin it anymore because we're just bringing down the animation at this point in time. And then now we're going to do, say, dance. All right, so we're going to have three animations here. Let's pick our favorite dance, All right, the YMCA dance. Sure, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, so there we go. And as you can see, there's a huge catalog of animations up on Mixamo. Again, without skin, sounds good. All right, so now we have those three files downloaded. So head on over to your downloads folder. There you'll see we have the three. Now the walking one is kind of important because that's also got our character model in it. Um, so we got three animations, one including the actual character geometry. And that will actually show here. So 18 megabytes versus 300 kilobytes. Now this is where the combiner comes in. Now combiner is an uploadable, it's a website basically. Uh, first thing you do is upload your character model. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna pick again, walking. This has the walking animation in it. Uh, like so, okay. And let's do our animation of punching. So there we have our punching animation. Now I may actually have to do walking as an animation here too. I didn't think I had to, but let's, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, and then finally let's upload our YMCA dance animation. All right. So there we go. We've got a number of them coming up here. Now, one thing you want to notice here, um, this is, I've, I've encountered it a couple times. We've got these two. So we've got two sets of animations there. Um, one is obviously empty. So if you get a duplicate like that, just get rid of it. There is your straight out T-pose, like so. Now, I'm not sure why this guy is not getting his texturing right, uh, but let's see if it works out fine. Anyway, so what we've done now is we combined all three of the animations in for this character. And this is functionality, again, that used to be in Mixmo, and it's not there anymore, which is unfortunate. So now we can export as a GLTF or a GLB. So we're going to export that as a GLTF, uh, like so. And there it goes. It downloaded right there. Uh, so now if I go back to our trusty downloads folder, we have our GLTF file. And now what I'm going to do is show you using that GLTF file in action. Uh, so we're going to create a new Godot project. Uh, obviously, GLTF, you can use it in Blender or wherever you wish. Uh, but Godot is a decent one for demonstrating. All right, so there we go. Um, now let's go back over to our folder, grab our generated GLTF file, drop that in to our assets 
should work. There, okay, okay, I'm just being impatient. All right, there we go. So now it has brought in our model, moment of truth. Let's find out if uh, we got the textures proper or not. So we're gonna go open up the scene, we'll zoom out. There we go. So everything looks perfectly fine. And as I mentioned earlier on, this combined all three of the animations in together. You're gonna notice, we're, so we're in the prefab that gets generated. And as you can see, it is in um, Godot engine looking basically exactly like it started. You're also gonna notice it created an animation player and we've got the multiple different animations there. So what we can do here, so we've got our punching animation. We'll go ahead and play that. There is punching. Uh, then we have dancing, or sorry, walking. There is our sashaying walk going on and our YMCA dance, like so. So as you can see, really, really simple to get animated models out of Mixamo and into your engine of choice. Now, the big thing here that the um, combiner is doing for you is giving you the ability to have those multiple animations in a single file. Uh, also, it does a very good job on the export and it's very game ready uh, with the results that it spits out, which is definitely a nice thing to see. So this is one of the easiest ways to go about creating uh, animations, by the way, uh, your characters so we come back here to the characters uh, you could actually upload your own character right here in fbx obj or obj format and then have it go through auto rigging auto rigging is pretty straightforward basically you're just putting a bunch of um, dots on the character where various different pieces of it exist um, so you can then it's it's like that very straightforward so even if you have your own mesh and you want to use Mixmo's animations on them really easy to set up and if you're not a rigger uh, which is the process of you know adding the bones and, and the bone weights and all that stuff into your meshes uh, the Mixmo rig does a pretty solid job of it and is a very easy way of doing things so that is the character animation combiner by the way this is an open source project uh, so it's available up on github I will link that with the linked article down below if you want to check it out um, in terms of licensing it is under the MIT license uh, you can run it locally if you want uh, it is ultimately a web-based application uh, so it is written in JavaScript I'm not sure which framework it used doesn't really matter uh, but you want to check it out yourself very simple or you can actually run it like we just saw in the browser I will have that link down below so you can upload to their servers but if you don't want to have your stuff going to someone else's servers which is a very understandable thing uh, you can basically just clone it down and then use npm to run it and you can run it locally now I mentioned earlier on that we have covered this in the past and I did uh, we covered Mixmo combiner way back in uh, September 10th of 2020 uh, the problem is the um, the links I had for it uh, they, uh, they they died uh, so this original project this link here uh, which I've, I've since removed them because they basically uh, they got taken over by uh, porn sites uh, which is unfortunate but that's what happens when uh, links die like that over time so this is a fork of the project um, is written in JavaScript using 3.js framework uh, again MIT license but this original version I covered there I did go down so this is someone else maintaining the project uh, this is also a bit of an object lesson on why I don't direct directly link from uh, YouTube anymore. They changed their policy. And if you link to something forbidden, such as malware or uh, pornography or, or hacks or anything like that, you can get a channel strike for it. And this was something I did back in, again, 2020. So like two plus years ago, uh, I don't go back and audit the links of things constantly. Like, you know, if people, someone mentioned in text that there was an issue. So I went ahead and updated the links to make it safe and updated and referred forward. So I edit my own links to keep my site safe when I can but YouTube will issue a strike if I link directly from that site over even though you know at the point I linked it it was valid that's just the nature of hyperlinks uh, so one of those things to be aware of that is why I don't directly link things like what you saw here with the Mixamo combiner uh, but ladies and gentlemen that there is the character animation combiner a tool for taking Mixamo meshes and uh, adding multiple animations to them and exporting them out to your game engine of choice and as you can see let's let's loop this poor guy here in the YMCA dance uh, the end results are incredibly good. So if you are not an animator, uh, Mixamo is just a huge, massive resource of animation files out there. Um, and it's been several years now and Adobe haven't screwed it up. So I, I think it's pretty safe to assume that it's going to be good for at least a little while longer. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Mixamo animations in general. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.